Hi, welcome to this video introducing the damage to built heritage. After a brief introduction, we will look at the main definitions involved. What is damage identification? What is damage diagnosis? And then we will draw the main conclusions. When dealing with damage, a few questions arise immediately. So first of all, what is damage? So we need to understand it. How can we describe it or how we can identify damage? And finally, probably the most important, why damage? So how can we explain what are the causes of damage? Let's look at some of the definitions. First of all, damage is um, defined as the harm, injury, of or impairment of value resulting from a failure. On the other hand, failure represents a deviation of an artifact from a required pattern, or and in other words, an unacceptable difference between expected and observed performance. Finally, defect. What is a defect? Uh, defects constitute a shortfall in the performance occurring at any time in the life of the product deriving from a complicated interaction between lack of knowledge, education, training, care, or enforcement. So it is very important, first of all, to understand what is damage and is important to be able to describe describe it and to identify it. We know that there are multiple damage typologies, as you can see from this slide, um, but also the definitions of the different um, typologies is heterogeneous. And usually there is a lack of standard um, understanding of what a specific typology can be. Anyhow, of course, uh, nowadays, uh, the knowledge it is quite developed. It is uh, been um, done a lot of research, context specific, material specific, so damage to specific materials and so on. So, um, of course, we can have and understand general categories of damage. So you can see in this slide, starting from top left uh, clockwise some material loss to to brick masonry we have a partial collapse uh, to um, uh, a floor uh, structure uh, we have um, then a problem to of biological colonization of uh, of a stone uh, bottom right, then bottom left in the slide, we have an alteration of uh, of the metal um, decoration plate on the bridge. So, I mean, we can, of course, identify, uh, uh, understand what is damage. We can uh, identify and describe using um, parameters such as measures, uh, of the extension of damage or the uh, degree of the damage. Um, but the ability of professionals to understand uh, the um, damages, failures, and effects, and most importantly, to um, map their interrelationships um stems out from a complex cognitive process which um, is referred to as diagnosis so diagnosis can be um, a very complex uh, process and there can be different approaches mostly we can distinguish uh, between the qualitative and the quantitative approach so the qualitative approach um, is defined as comparison between present condition of the structure, structure and that of, ad, of other similar structures uh, whose behavior is already uh, understood. Quantitative approach uses methods of modern structural analysis, so it's a much more um, detailed and resource-consuming one. 
in the, the diagnosis um, requires historical documentation, inspection, testing, and monitoring. So um, in reality, it is complex because it contains uh, a series of activities that can be um, very time consuming, a resource consuming, depending on the, um, on the accuracy required for the diagnosis. So finally, we can say that uh, concerning damage, some standard definitions uh, are um, usually required. There might, can, might be some inter uh, misinterpretation of uh, specific uh, damages. Uh, of course, damage is usually uh, the result of uh, multiple causes. And therefore, um, diagnosis, it's a very important uh, step that helps us understanding the relationship this, between the multiple causes. And of course, there are different tools that we can employ for, for explaining why the damage occurs. Thank you for your attention.